Hi, and welcome to SPC Business Consulting's May 2020 video newsletter. So today we are going to talk about PPP. After the rain, the compliance comes. So I want to take a minute and just do a quick touch on the PPP and what comes next. So we've had a lot of information thrown about um, regarding recovery funding and you know where to apply and what it is and who should try and where you should go to try. Um, what I want to talk about is what comes after that. So we know a little bit about who is or who isn't getting it, but if you are one of the lucky ones who actually has received the funding, then this video is for you. So one of the first things to think about is was your loan necessary? So I know in the mad dash to kind of just get your hands on some cash and alleviate some stress, um, people were just submitting applications, but one of the key factors when all of this kind of blows over and we come out the other side is going to be the very simple question of did you actually need to have this loan for your business to run were there any other resources that you could have used to provide payroll for your company um, and can you prove that you needed it um, can you prove that you didn't have any additional access to capital and it wasn't depleted um, if your your answer is I don't know, you might be in a little bit of trouble because that is the first question that's going to be asked when they start auditing these loans is, did you need to have it? Could you have operated without it? And if the answer is yes, you could have operated without it, you're going to have a whole another adventure on your hands. So the purpose of this video is to get you thinking about that right now. What what prompted you to get the loan? Was it a business decision or was it just kind of a, a race to secure some resources that seemed like a good idea at the time? The second thing to remember is that PPP can only be used for specific purposes. Um, those purposes are payroll, utilities, rent, interest, health insurance, and pension contributions. And, and that's basically it. So the gist of it is that it can only be used for things that you legitimately need to run a business and take care of your employees. So now that you've got that, what's the catch? Well, we all know that you can get, a, as long as you spend up to 75% of, of the PPP on payroll, that it can be forgiven. The catch though, is that you have to spend at least 75% on payroll and the remaining 25% has to be used on one of those purposes that I spoke about before. Utilities, rent, interest, health insurance, or pension contributions, right? So if it's not being used on that, then there's a problem. And those things had to have been in place prior to February the 15th, 2020. So if you applied for this loan in... in uh, March and then you just got payroll set up in March you're not you're not eligible for it you shouldn't have been using it and if you still have some of those funds take them right now go back to the bank and give them back um, if you are using it for payroll but you didn't have any utilities rent interest health insurance um, or pension contributions in 2019 you can't magically get them now um, if you didn't, if you have a home office and you've never paid rent, you cannot magically start paying rent now. Um, so here is the, here's the thing that I think is going to kind of strike some fear into a lot of people. When you submitted this loan, you had to submit a certification need, which basically says to the government, yes, um, I guarantee that all of the information that I'm providing to you is as accurate as possible. Um, yes, we are in need of the funds. Yes, we will use the funds according to the guidelines. Um, no, we will not use the funds uh, for other reasons. And if we find that we don't need as much as we've received, we will return it. Um, that is something that you submitted when you submitted your application, that certification of need. So remember, because you submitted that, if your loan is found to be unnecessary, there is a possibility of some criminal repercussions. What's on tap is uh, up to a million dollar fine and 30 years in prison. So I'm always harping on compliance, 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 and this, this situation is no different. Please make sure that you needed to have the loan. 
please make sure that you have a separate accounting system for the things that are coming out of this loan. Please make sure that you are tracking it. You are continuously reconciling what's spent versus what you said it was going to be spent on. Um, please make sure that you are not marketing with it. You're not increasing or improving your property with it. You're not um, buying new equipment with it. You're not fixing old equipment. Please, please, please make sure that you're spending it within the guidelines. If you have any questions, please, please reach out. Facebook, Twitter, um, or my website, sbcconsulting.org. Also, I have to give a shameless plug. Uh, my partner and I have launched a podcast. It's called Adventures in Contracting. The website is adventuresincontracting.info where we go a little more in depth about things like this. But if you have any questions or if you're even a little bit concerned about what you're using the funds for or if you should be using them for that, please give me a call. I'd rather have the conversation with you and say, oh, it's nothing to worry about than to kind of see anybody on the front of the Washington Post. The funds are needed and they're real, but there is also a real responsibility with them. So please make sure you're following the guidelines. Please make sure you're returning funds if you don't actually need them. Please make sure that you have a real tangible way to prove that you needed to have these funds to run your company. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you guys very much. Stay safe and happy Mother's Day. Bye.